Hey everybody, how you doing? Today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to remove and replace your lawnmower blades. Regardless of whether you have a push mower, riding mower, larger mower, zero turn mower, it's all pretty much the same. You just may have one, two, three, four or more blades. It's actually very simple, doesn't require many tools, just got to be sure that you're being safe. I'm going to show you how to change the blades on this Husky mower which has two blades. This is one of the most common types of lawn tractors. Check it out. Some instruction manuals will tell you to actually remove the entire deck off of the mower. That's too much work, takes too much time. You can see here I have this mower jacked up actually on a motorcycle jack, but it works out pretty well. I've got enough room where I can get my hands under here and get at the blades. If you don't have a motorcycle jack or a different type of jack, you can always just stack up some boards or rocks or whatever you can find, drive the mower up on top of it to raise the deck up off the ground. But let's take a look under this deck here. As you can see, this lawnmower has two blades. One right here and the other one right there. If you look at the center of each blade, there's gonna be one nut. All you'll need to do is remove this nut, drop the blade down, and replace the new blade and tighten it back on. It really is as simple as that. Literally, the only tool that I'm gonna need to replace these blades is a 15th, 16th socket and a socket wrench. You will, of course, need to be absolutely safe when you're getting your hands around lawnmower blades. Don't have the key in it, have the gas shut off, unhook the spark plug, whatever you need to do to make you feel safe that the mower's not ever gonna turn on. The mower has 0% chance of coming on and chopping all your fingers off. If you just put the socket on here and try to turn it, it's gonna turn that whole blade, which obviously will not release the nut. So you can see what I've done on this mower. I've taken the vice grips and put a hammer handle up against here. So when I turn this nut, that blade is gonna stop on this piece of wood and I'm gonna be able to have the leverage to take that nut off. I've already had this nut soaking for over a week because I knew I was gonna do this video, so this nut should come off very easily. This one is not reverse threads. Be careful to check if yours has reverse threads or not. You don't wanna break a bolt off or something. So yeah, this is already turning off really loose here. So I'm gonna turn it one whole turn, then I should be able to get it off with just my hands. <sighs> yep, so spin this nut off with your hands. You see what it looks like there. And then you may have a washer in here, so you're gonna wanna be careful not to just start ripping things apart, but pay attention. You see how easy that came off there. You can see there the blade has a little star drive there. When you get your new blade, all you'll need to do is reverse exactly how you took it off. Align your new blade with the star shaft that's up above, and then spin the nut back on. Obviously, you're gonna wanna tighten it up pretty good. You don't want lawnmower blades flowing off and hitting the dog or whatever. Now you know how to change the blades on your lawnmower. It's a piece of cake. It'll only take you about five minutes. Just be sure that you're careful. You don't want to end up losing any fingers. Thanks for watching, guys. This was a very quick video. Let me know if you have any questions or need help with your lawnmower. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Hootie Hoo! Chopping all your fingers off.